What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to another thing, another cube thing. I'm going to take this in Tomb. That sets us up to put creatures in the graveyard pretty nicely. Maybe Grave Titan comes back. Maybe Narset comes back. I don't know. Marshlots is good. Scalding Turn's good. This Nyss is pretty good. Personally, I don't care about City of Traders. Yeah, I'm just going to take in Tomb. We also had two mocks in our last draft and just rarely saw them. So. I'm going to take this Exhume. Also, there's a Lurus here, but I don't think ex I don't think Entomb and Exhume are really setting us up for um, a Lurus deck. You really kind of want the big creatures. Ew, ew, Exhum is better though. Better than what? Oh, Leo. Yeah, we're not taking a Leo. We're taking Exhum for sure. You don't go Entomb into Leovold. Uh, I like Deep Cavern Bat. I also like a Duressi. Duress is pretty good. I like Duress because it kind of lets you set up the Entomb Exhum interaction. So does Deep Cavern Bat, but that guy's a little more sensitive, you know? Did you guys see they put fetches on Arena and then banned them on every farm? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they, they released, there was Cons of Tarkir Remastered, I think it was. And it's literally like my favorite uh, format. Cons of Tarkir is like one of my absolute favorite, both draft formats and constructed formats. Same with Ravnica. I think I love sets that lean heavily into multicolor cards. Yeah, I'm going to go with Duress here. I think it's probably a little better than the bat. Oh, Creative Clown has been updated. Eric, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. 62 months. That's over five years. Five years. <sighs> yeah, they made a new format called Timeless. Um, which is like vintage, except for the fact that it has arena card or it has the uh the alchemy cards as well, which is just just I, I just don't enjoy alchemy. I just don't enjoy like the best part about magic is that it's a paper game and you can play the paper game. Like you can play it both like, Hey, I'm going to take my paper deck and play it on the internet. Like that's, that's the best, like the, the transition is really nice. So then when they made, like, they just made it hearthstone. It's like, you're just trying to do hearthstone better than hearthstone. And collective brutality is kind of unexciting, but this pack is pretty unexciting. I'm going to take remand actually. I think I like it better than collective brutality. Now we get to take either Una's prowler or thief of sanity. Una's prowler is a nice discard outlet, but thief of sanity is just good. Yeah, I think we're going to take Thief because we have Remand now, and I just think it's better. I don't actually hate Lotus Petal. That's fascinating. I'm tempted to just take Lotus Petal because it just lets us do all of this one turn sooner. Concealing Curtains. It's okay. We can, we can Concealing Curtain. Oh, Creeping Tar Pit when we just picked some blue cards. Yes. Yes, please. I'm game. I've also replaced all of these with the Restless versions just to try them out, and they might be fine, so. <sighs> I guess we'll just take a Triskelion. It's a colorless card that we can actually play. Damnation. I'll take Snapcaster. I mean, we already have Duress and Entomb and Exhum and Remand. Like, this is actually looking like a pretty decent Snapcaster deck, so. Mishra's Bobble. Not exciting. Whatever. Nothing else for us. Have you ever played a paper cube? What? Yes, of course. I have three. I own three paper cubes.
most of the cubes I own are made of plastic. <laughs> wow. Please, please see yourself out. Mm. Take the concealed courtyard just in case. Is that Wasson? It is Wasson. Oh, Sarah's emissary is okay. Sure, I'll take that. That's our first creature to put in the graveyard. Back in the day, I was a noob and had no idea how about how to take Blood Tithe Harvester for sure. Why not? I had no idea how fetch lands are important. Got two wooded foothills out of the box and I'm selling them for cheap. Rip, for cheap, rip me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's no good. I traded a taiga for something back in the day. I I remember having no when it's interesting because when you're new at magic, you don't the the appreciation for being able to okay, well, speak of the devil. Being able to produce multiple colors of mana um from single sources is not readily apparent. Like the sequencing of like, I need two black and then I need blue, blue one. And then I need blue, black, red on turf. Like the sequencing of those things and being able to do them all in order is not obvious until you actually play the game. We're definitely taking black Lotus here. So, so that's pretty cool. I like a good black Lotus. This pack's kind of meh. Shield Edict maybe. I got the, the full Lotus and then I got just one little petal, just a little petal, just to see how it feels. This guy was actually pretty fine for me, for us. If you can go turn two Aklazots, I think I'd be okay. It's not super easy to kill. I think it's probably better than Shouldered's Edict, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe he comes back. <sighs> Shouldered's Edict's good. I, I, I think this guy was fine. I had a good time with him, whatever. Well, I have no idea what was missed because apparently we crashed while in the middle of drafting. And then I didn't, I didn't see it. Someone said, uh Oh, OBS crashed or did his internet die? And I guess OBS crashed. There was no indication of it whatsoever. I just look over and OBS is frozen. So that was fun. Uh, I last picks were Teferi. I pick Gonti, Teferi, Phantasmal image. I'll take this mind slaver now, I guess. There's the Hex Mage. Okay. Um, none of these are exciting. I'll take the Scoundrel. It's actually a good discard outlet. If we get uh, Red Lands, we can get with Bloodstain Mire. So, sure. And Scrapwork Mud is actually playable. Okay. Well. So now we're in pack three. And that was not the best pack two, I'll be honest. Still looking for creatures to reanimate and reanimate cards. I don't think we're going to find them. So I also have no idea when the recording, if well, like when the recording froze either. So it could just be a big fat mess. Um, I do like a grief here. I think it's definitely grief. Uh, would not mind prismatic Vista or Urza coming back. I don't think we're an Urza deck, but I think it's just strong enough to. Okay. We're just making sure we're still good. Yep, we're just going to take the grief here. Mox Diamond. Animate Dead as well. I think we're just taking the Animate Dead and trying to make sure that we're still live for reanimate things. There's Like, I haven't seen... I haven't passed anything, so... I don't think I want Titan when I only have Exhum right now. Well, like, we have one reanimate card. <laughs> I'd rather make sure we have more reanimate cards because even if we don't... Like, Titan's only getting cast from Exhum. And I'd rather have Animate Dead because it can still hit like Grief or Gonti or Eklazots or Sarah's Emissary, right? So I'd rather make sure that we... When I first started playing, the hardest thing for me to understand was the stack. It seemed... Ba it is. It's literally backwards. But, I mean...
the stack was easier to grasp because people just tell you and you just have to look at it a different way and say, oh, okay, I understand that. Like, that makes sense. I do like a dark ritual here. Whereas like mana and resources is only something like you can really grasp as you play. Also, life death. I think I just want dark ritual here with Lotus and Lotus petal. Like we can probably pump some of these guys out pretty quickly. There was life death in there, but like, oh, watery grave and a hymn to Torok and a from the catacombs. I think it's gotta be watery grave, which really sucks. Actually, I like from the catacombs a lot though. I don't foresee us messing up our mana base for these guys. It kind of has to be watery grave. <laughs> Like we have a, a Bloodstained Mire, which only which isn't even a dual land yet. That was really that was a really hard pick. I didn't like that at all. I guess I guess again, like we do have the the lower cost reanimate spells. We're not looking for reanimate spells, we're looking for creatures, so that makes me feel a little better, actually. I do like a bone shards. I also like an Urtai. It's so weird that it just froze. I don't like I don't understand like what would cause that. Grave is oh watery grave, I assume you're referring to. And this is a, this is also a discard outlet, which is kind of strong. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the bone shards. I think that feels correct. Like being a discard outlet for the one Sarah's emissary that we can't cast is nice. We didn't get um Oh, true name nemesis? Wow, that's actually pretty good. Jeez. Also, currency converter. Hmm, fascinating. It's got to be true name. I think true name is a little stronger than currency converter here. Especially with lotus and lotus petal. Oh, God. Do we have any way to splash this, this idiot? Jeez. That's wild. We have no green. We have no way to effectively splash that guy other than the Lotus and the Lotus Petal. <laughs> this card is super weird. I think we're just taking Thirst here. It's a nice cheap card. It works with uh, Napcaster Mage. Is it just Custody Lich? This this reanimate deck is terrible. I mean, we do have Vampire Hex Mage and Dark Depths. That's something. Odawara is nice. Yeah, I'll just take the Lich here. And now we're back to nothing. <laughs> take Duretti. Uh, World Spine Worm. Eh, it's never going to the graveyard. Never mind. Yeah, if we had Flash, that'd be one thing, but... Look at all these red cards that we have that are actually decent. Blood Tide, Croxa, Doretti, Charming Scoundrel. Absolutely no reason to go into a third color, though. Metamorph. I do love a... I love a Fiery Confluence. I'll take a Metamorph. The problem, I don't even think Exuma is good enough. Ugh, God. This deck is way more black-blue tempo than it is reanimate, so. A Smuggler's Copter could be decent in our deck, actually. That is a discard outlet. Sure, I'll smuggle. Oh, the Hymn to Torok came back? What in the fuck? That's wild. Okay, well... I think we're just taking out Sarah's Emissary and, like, Scrapwork Mutt and Exume. And I think we're not trying to reanimate as much as we are just trying to tempo them with, like, True Name and Thief and Grief and Aklazots. Yeah, that's just, yeah, it just basically means that, like, we're going to draw... Uh, him to Torak every time they don't have cards. I'm also going to cut Duress because we want, like, Dark Depths as a spell.
That was a late memory jar. I'm also going to cut bone shards. Reason being, we just don't have a high... Um, a high need for discard outlets anymore. And we still have Smuggler's Copter instead, and we still have Fatal Push, and... Not a ton of removal. Maybe we do want a bone shards. Do I like bone shards over concealing curtains? Maybe. Also a Triskelion we can just play. All right. We didn't see Gristlebrand. We didn't see Archon of Cruelty. We didn't see Atraxa. So we just saw very few of the valuable reanimate targets. Oh, I mean, if I didn't have Hexmage, I have no idea why I would be playing Dark Depths. <laughs> like, am I just naturally trying to... You know, like, naturally trying to take 30 counter... Take, uh... Pay 30 mana and take the 10 counters off. Yeah, I do like Duress. I don't think that's incorrect. I also think I want Lotus Petal as not a land because that seems pretty rough as a land. I mean, this looks like a solid 23. My brother and I drafted a double masters draft a bunch of months ago. Thanks. <laughs> hey, MDG Sandman, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Appreciate it. What? Is the choice here? Like, I feel like duress and bone shards are the only two options I'm considering here. Could cut Teferi. But I feel like Teferi is a good engine. Like negative two, make a guy, put goes up to five, negative two, make a guy. And then those guys are just good. Plus they crew smugglers copter. Also, Vampire Hex Mage is a planeswalker removal spell. Yeah, actually, this is actually Entomb does kind of suck. Yeah, that's actually a good call. I thought I took Entomb out. That's sad that Entomb was like our first pick. <laughs> and Exum was like, like, it's another situation where like, these were our first two picks. We didn't play them last draft. Our first pick was Time Spiral. And our second pick was Cryptic Command. And we didn't play those either. We're just like not playing our first two picks. Yeah, I think we'll put in Discard or uh, Duress rather. Which is Discard. And then we'll bring these guys in. Add Basics. So this is five, six, seven eight, nine, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think seven, six is fine. Yes. And yeah, yesterday, last two picks were like Splinter Twin, Kiki Jiki. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And then we did play those and they ended up winning us games. So, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 plus dark. Yeah, that seems fine. I do want double blue because I have some double blue cards here. All right, so this is 17 lands. One is a dark depths, but one is a black lotus, and we also have lotus petal. So. Josh, why are you sending me just a random picture of a sensei's divine? Uh, Josh, I am unemployed currently. <laughs> I am, I was laid off. So I'm not really in the, uh, not really in the business of being super, I also don't buy any foils. So I, I am exclusively non-foil. Like I'm literally trying to sell, sell comics just to like help out a little bit, but you know, so Oh, I see. You're being very subtle. Yeah, I get you. That's very clever, Joshua. Very clever. 
He sent me a picture of a Sensei's Divining Top. Because <laughs> it's my favorite car. I don't hate it as much as I used to. I think I was just, I think I had PTSD from all the times it was in standard with fetch lands. And like people have 12 fetch lands in their deck. So you're shuffling every single turn, you know, in, in vintage cube, it's much less oppressive because yeah, sure. People are activating it once a turn still, but like you're also Sylvan library is doing the same thing. So, all right. Round one. Black Lotus, Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual. It's a pretty uneventful hand, but it does things, so we'll keep it, I guess. Plus, if we hit a Dark Depths on turn three, then that's just the thing. <sighs> oh, they're mulligan into six. Yeah, I love Gonti. He's a good dude. Oh, a little, little, little Sharky. So this guy into this guy into Gonti is fine. And then, like, we're just playing a very fair curve here. Concealing curtains, Sharky boy. Come on, counterspell. We can also play curtains next turn and activate. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, send you all my cards if you want to sell them all online and split the money. I hate selling stuff, even though every time I crack packs, I tell myself I'll sell it and make. I do that. I do that same thing. Also, it's funny because a lot of people do actually. They're like Michael B does that a lot. He'll buy cards and they'll be like, "Hey man, can you sell these for me?" Because he just don't like dealing. It's such a. It's it is a process. Like you have to like communicate with every single person who messages you. You have to like list the things. It's funny because it is kind of a. It's kind of an annoying, annoying process for sure. I think I just want to play Concealing Curtains here and then flip it. Because I don't want them to kill my shark. So I'd like to see what they have going here. Ooh. Treachery. Shielder's Edict. From the Catacombs. Counterspell. Okay. So it's definitely... Oh, Christ. I don't care about edict because we have a bunch of creatures we can sacrifice. I think it's just treachery. They can't counterspell. I mean, if they edict, I'm just sacking vampire hex mage. Yeah, that's fine. I think treachery is definitely the most dangerous card they have. <sighs> like, I don't want them to take my shark, you know? Don't be taking my shark, bro. Oh, they draw a card, too? Fuck, it's like, I keep forgetting it's like Thought Knots here. I'm like, for four mana, dude, that's... Just make them discard. I guess you get a 3-4 out of it. I don't know, man. Everybody's got Gonti, you know? Okay, Counterspell's still offline. They could preordain. And they did. Oh, they probed us too. All right, so everything's happening. What are we sacrificing here? 
It's probably Hex Mage, but that does kind of blank Dark Depths if we draw it. Oh, they were thinking about it. They were like, maybe I'll play it. And then they were like, I'm not going to play it. I don't need it. I think it's easily gone to here. I don't think we have a great Metamorph target. That's unfortunate. Why didn't he attack with this? Nobody knows. He was tilted from the brainstorm. Bowmasters. And we hit a... <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Oh, dear Jesus. Okie dokie. And there's nothing to take counters off of here, right? Oh, boy. We hit three lands and brainstorm. They draw Bowmasters off of their... So these can go. We know they have these three and... I mean, now I'm just tempted to Phyrexian Metamorph their Bowmaster to shoot their other Bowmaster. Oh, I guess they have Counterspell. Yeah, they're probably going to counter that. Smart. Oh, Remand it. Okay, sure. Well, this game was going well until it wasn't going well. Jesus, I can't even brainstorm. They just... Yep. So we know they have Counterspell. Oh, that's interesting. That's what they're going to counter. Let's do it again. Nope, you want to do it. Let's do it this way. Okay, okay. I just don't, like, we don't really have a great way to get around this guy unless we draw, like, Fatal Push, which would be nice. But it's also, like, turn seven and we've missed multiple land drops. Today is not going that well. I agree with you.
<sighs> sure. I would love to brainstorm here, but then they get to <laughs> just deal me three and make a four four, so. Okay, do we think they have another counter spell? Hmm. Maybe. All right. I'm probably just going to scoop if they do. Like, we're falling very far behind. They also have Shielded Edict, which gets rid of one of our two guys. They also have From the Catacombs. Well, okay. So we put the two cards that we knew about into the graveyard. That's fascinating. All right. I, I'm like flabbergasted that we got this one brainstorm, which is probably the most useless card we could have hit. Yeah, great. So they hit a briber off this. They also have this guy waiting for them. And then they also have from the catacombs in the graveyard. And they also have a card from Gonti. So they actually have two, three, four, five, six, like this. It's incalculable. Yep, that was, all right. And our deck felt good and disruptive, but then we just, Yeah, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Bowmaster either. I, I think one of the best things to do in, in Magic is draw cards. Um, and a lot of it is like, you're paying resources for cards, like you're giving up tempo. Um, and, you know, a lot of modern cards have costs, right? Like, Thirst for Discovery, you have to discard a basic land, or you discard two cards. So you really net nothing if you discard two cards. So, like, the fact that it's, like, Bowmasters is just punishing you for, like, not even netting any cards and spending three mana. You're spending two mana, they get two bodies. Like, it's just a lot. I think it's a little over. Like, if it, if it costs three mana, I think it'd be significantly more fair. I think two mana for that dude is... I mean, I don't think Bone Shards really does much. Like, they reanimated our Gonti, which I don't really feel like two for wanting to kill. Uh, they played Thief, which is fine. I don't think we're really... That's fascinating. That's a fascinating opener. Feeling good about this. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's, that's what's that's what you call the buy right there. All right. Let's do that again. Fantastic. What are you doing, Wasan? You're being real cute. What is the most OP card in Magic besides Lotus? I mean it's gotta be Ancestral Recall. 
Soaring is up there too. What's the most OP card in the last 20 years, Oko? No, I don't think so. I actually think I, I, I think Oko is getting outshined a little bit by more recent cards. Oh man, we're so close again. This is a hilarious hand. Wow. Lotus, Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, three lands, and a Dark Depths. I'm going to keep it because anything we draw gets the job done. I don't hate that. It's not Boston. Uh, so we can just go Dark Ritual Lotus Petal Concealing Curtains on turn one. I mean, that's pretty good. And then we still get to save the Lotus. Thief, Force, Brazen Borrower, Animate Dead. Yeah, I think we're just getting rid of Brazen Borrower here. Because I really don't want them to bounce my guy, so. Uh, Borrower's gone. And we know these six. Okay. Petty Theft is also gone. That's pretty good. I don't think we want a Lotus for it, though. Thief of Sanity is kind of obnoxious here. But I, I think we're just going to draw Vampire Hex Mage, so I think it's fine. Metamorph. You know, I never met a morph I didn't like. So I assume this and this are gone. Oh yeah, Hogak. Hogak was also a friggin' monster. Yeah, you know, it really it's actually surprising that Oko wasn't just in a in a modern horizon set. Sitting here with the dark depths. Just waiting, you know? Just waiting. I mean, if we thirst and we hit Vampire Hex Mage, we can just go Vampire Hex Mage off of Lotus into Dark Depths. We know they have a force. They got Brazen Borrower back. Fine by me. We also drew an Animate Dead, and they took the only creature that we cared about. This is the only thing we could play here, so. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting. We're going to go basic land, pitch this, play Lotus, see if they counter it. Animate Dead's gone. Are they going to force this? No. Well, they can't counter this guy. See if you got it, sir. <laughs> Get in there with this gentleman. I mean, they're going to have an answer to Hex... They have to have an answer to Hex Mage and then an answer to Merit Lage as well. So we might just be able to win this with... 
Dark Depths combo twice in a row. Island, got it. I got four cards. Do we just go for it? I guess they have two blockers, and if they have a treachery, it's pretty dangerous, right? Yeah, all right. We're just going to hold. That's interesting. Okay, we could do a we could do a thirst. This guy's just cr cruising along though, so Okay, that guy resolves too. See, this is a much better board for what we want to be doing. Just a bunch of evasive utility creatures. You got it. I mean, if they tap out, they die, you know? You know? You know what I'm saying? Treachery on the Seed Shark. That's good. I mean, we did expect them to have that. Yeah, it goes, it goes Mutiny on the Bounty, then Treachery on the Seed Shark. We're not hex maging the depths because they have treachery. We just assumed they would. Like, they could just chump block and then steal our merit lage and then we die. So. They're also at six. I mean, that's a. This is really good. This is really frustrating because I think that. What do they get? Grief here? Custody Lich is good. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, treachery and a bribery is a hell of a combination here. We do not have Sarah in our deck now. It might be safe to Dark Depths now because we just they just don't have. Yep, that's what I figured. We're definitely getting rid of Thief here. Oh, we can actually animate dead their metamorph and make it a custody lich, which is kind of good. Yep, that guy's coming in. Totally fine. All right, so we're not dead yet. What am I block? What am I blocking with? Oh, we could have blocked with Merit Merit Lodge. You're right. That would have been smart. In my head, I'm like, there's no, there's no way we do this at any other time than the end step. So, oh, that's interesting. That was actually pretty good because they have force for, from the catacombs, which doesn't actually do anything right now. Neither does virtue. They have their own custody lich. Interesting. Interesting. 
So we're definitely not animating. Oh, we're animating Phyrexia Metamorph to get Custody Lich. That's what we're doing. Is that correct? There's nothing else in the graveyard, right? Yeah, we definitely should have blocked Thief of Sanity. That was stupid. Good call, SF Dragon. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of Virtue here, I think. Metamorph. 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 Yeah, we definitely should have blocked. I think they forgot to, otherwise they probably wouldn't have attacked. Okay. Choose an artifact or guy, choose the custody lich. Gonna become the monarch, you little biscuit. Uh, whenever you become the monarch, target player sacrifice this creature. I choose you. Yeah, not having Thief of Sanity on the board, which would have been significantly better. Oh, God, we just gave them two extra cards. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it's like sometimes you, you your brain gets locked into like... So if they become the monarch, yeah, this is this is they're gonna have to block with Brazen Borrower. Oh, double blocking. Well, we can kill the custody lich, which is good. But then they can get it back with from the catacombs, which is bad. But then that's their whole turn. Okay, okay, so we know they have Force of Negation, their own Custody Lich. And from the Catacombs. Okay, we still know their whole hand, and they have access to one spell. If they play Custody Lich, we set Custody Lich. They become the Monarch. And then they have one creature here. Does Snapcaster get us anywhere? Not really. They can't really even attack with the shark, though, because of Marilage. From the catacombs, getting any other creature is just not that good. Yeah, that's what I figured. I also don't know where, like, our mana is. I guess we discard. I guess we have, like, a bunch of lands in here. Sacrifice a creature. This guy. Yep. So, Snapcaster, nothing. Okay. That's unfortunate. But they do have to just block with the Seed Shark and we get a Remand? Hmm. Dude, I remember moving to Seattle and then back home to Florida from Seattle. And it was like, I had like 11 comic long boxes that were just the worst. They still have to just find an answer to this through a remand. And this might do it. Like they can't force this because it's their turn. So 
So now their hand is force from and one random card that has to kill a merit lage or block. Ooh, man. Even though we, I think we severely handicapped ourselves by not blocking the thief of sanity, but they also didn't see it. I think, I think it was very, I think it's like the general rule is like my, my brain is conditioned to not expose merit lage until the end step, because if they're attacking, they get a second main. So in my head, I'm like, Don't, there's no way I'm going to put merit lage at risk. Um, I mean, I should have realized they were tapped out. They couldn't do anything, right? But, like, my brain didn't switch gears and be like, no, change your plan, you know? And it's, it's, it's awkward. It's rough. You want to see the Spidey Joe, like, the real ones or, like, the, the, the picture again? I'm going to play first. Do you remember that turn I went in Lotus, Dark Depths, Vampire Hex Mage Go? That was pretty cool. This hand is pretty slow, but it's also pretty good if we hit Lotus Petal or Lotus or Dark Ritual. No, Dark Ritual doesn't do much here. On turn two, I guess it does. We get to go Seed Shark. Yours. I'm mostly joking, but it would be like a 3D view. That's true. They're also upstairs in our, in our bedroom, so it's unlikely I'm going to go grab them. Let's go swamp, I guess. Yeah, Tokyo Rain, can you get on like a social media form so we can chat? Even a, I'll take a Discord even. How do you communicate with people? Do you just like use the phone and stuff? You just like have a have a phone conversation? <laughs> if we had Lotus, this hand is great. Yeah, it's true. Um, well. Unmarked Grave, Faithless Looting, Sarah Emissary. Uh-huh. Well, let's take the Faithless Looting and assume they were trying to discard. Sure. So now we know they have Sarah Emissary and Archon. If only we could have put one of those in the graveyard, that would have been cool. They're gonna get they're gonna get unburial rights. Anime Dead could be good. Unless they go Faithless Looting Disc. If they go Faithless Looting Discard both of those. They got an Inferno Titan. Can I have it? I can have this. Now they're going to loot and discard their two cards. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But now we if we hit if we hit a land, we get the snapcaster and make these go away. Or well, not these, I guess. But you know, whatever reanimate spell they picked up. That's a land. It's an awkward draw though. <sighs> we just need one more mana. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're actually two damage away from just killing them with Inferno Titan with that with Lotus, which is kind of hilarious. I mean, unfortunately, I think we just have to Snapcaster and because we just can't let Archon of Cruelty. If they get Archon of Cruelty, they're just gonna we're we're gonna have to sacrifice this. So I'd really I, I just don't want that to happen. Whereas if they still are able to get Archon of Cruelty, at least we can sacrifice Snapcaster at that point. God, we're just wasting two mana. It's so brutal. We should have cracked a pre-combat for red, used two of it to pump, put them to three. And then true name would be lethal. I can't. I can come up with the plays. <laughs> it's just too late. I'm just too hasty of a player. Creature or planeswalker. We can also make a Teferi. and then make a two two, and then that two two. I just don't want them to get Archon. I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna do that. Uh, 
Oh, we're still in the combat phase? That would have been bad if we... Whatever. Oh, reanimate and corpse dance, huh? <laughs> okay. We'll take the corpse dance because then you have to reanimate and you don't have the life to do that, so... Yep, there's your black. Shallow fucking grave. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Must be nice. See, if we played Tef... I guess if we played Teferi, we could... Yep, that's amazing. If we played Teferi, we would have been able to sacrifice the token and then sacrifice the Teferi. Now we have to get rid of Inferno Titan. And they just gained six. Wow, what a fucking top deck, man. It's fucking annoying. Oh, Lord. Yep, now you can reanimate. Wow. Wow. Played masterfully. <laughs> yep, that's great. And our Lotus is gone, so like, there's no way to get to five mana here. I mean, we can just block this guy. We take three, then we block. Sure. Yeah, just let me keep that guy. Yep, if we put them to if we dealt the two extra damage from from the the lotus, like we would have actually again, this is a game we we could have easily won. They'd be dead to true name nemesis. That's hilarious. Should have cracked it for red. Pumped twice. Use the remaining three mana to snap to rest. The line was there. It's so fun. Like, I mean, it goes to show you, like, how little decisions can make or break a, an entire game. Like, how you can... Definitely don't want to zoom. Oh, boy. Looks like somebody did get a good reanimate deck. Entomb does not seem great when they're reanimating things. Bone shards could be reasonable. I think we just cement. Like, I think we have Duress, we have Grief, we have him to Torok. Remand. We still have 16 lands, and our curve pretty much ends at three, really. Like, there's a ton of one, two, and three mana cards. So I feel like our mana problems are not super reasonable. That's true. Assume the Frank mana curse and go from there. Smart. Solid. Actually, that's a good strategy. I will say yes. It's not great. This is a one lander, essentially. We need a black source. I mean, what does this do? Like, these two are basically dead. 
Can we get a better five card hand than this? Probably. Yeah, that'll do. All right. I'm putting... Definitely putting Teferi back. I'll probably just put one land back and turn two Thief. What do we need more of? Black, I believe? I mean, this is a five-card hand, I guess. Turn two thief. You can pop this guy out now. Okay. Oh, that could be good. Oh yeah, kill it. Don't kill it. Kill it. <laughs> this never connects. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. They didn't discard a card. That's fascinating. Okay, they missed the land drop. So did we, which is why we can't flip our concealing curtains. Oh, now we can. Might as well. Wow. Shallow Grave, Liliana of the Veil. Persist. I kind of just want to take Liliana. If they get a Liliana, they just get to kill our guy. It does give them another card, but like... That doesn't do a tremendous amount for them in the position they're in. That's pretty decent. Uh, great. What are we taking here? Persist, probably? Um, actually, they have two spells that actually kill... Oh, but they don't... It doesn't matter, though. Yeah, that's why we took the persist. That's good. So what's their hand? This, 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 and Goblin Rabble Master. Well, now I have the Archon of Cruelty, so that's pretty good if they don't hit a red source. Yes, that's not a red source. So we know all five cards in their hand? Fuck yeah, dude. That's what Father likes. Goblin Rabby Babbies. Let's cast this guy and get rid of Arc Trail because Arc Trail actually kills both of our creatures. You got planes? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, you got it. So now you're going to burst lightning Archon. That's totally fine. I think the damage has already been done. Plus they're at five. Which means this guy is lethal next turn. All right, that was a hell of a mold of five. I have two lethal creatures. You have one in T. Good grief! Well, that was a that was a that was a game right there. Oh, boy, oh boy! Still think we just submit here, like. Man, them shallow graving the archon at instant speed just to get the trigger off of it when we can. Phantasmal image, it was pretty good.
This guy's just a three one for two, right? It doesn't really do much. So this is what I mean, like one dark depths, one swamp. I can't help but feel like there's an algorithm that tries to put a certain number of lands in your hand and it keeps seeing dark depths as a land. This is definitely, this is just straight up mulligan. Sure. It's a turn one Gaunty, but is that good enough? Ragavan. Big Raggles. Check it and see. I think on turn one we're gonna play Gonti. Yeah. I just want a creature to block as well, so if they're relying on this Ragavan to really like look at the cards. <laughs> Choose the card. Um I like Rabble Master here. It can actually get out of hand quite easily. We also have Arc Trail to just kill this guy. But if they have a reanimate, then they just get a free Goblin Rabble Master next turn. I think we're taking Goblin Rabble Master for that reason. Yep, that's what I figured they'd do. Hit a Tefri, that's actually fine. That's not a card I want to draw. Oh, this is it's not Thief of Sanity. They don't go to the graveyard. Ugh. That's unfortunate. Yep. Two hits off Ragavan. Would have been would have been better with one. That's a good one. Yep. <laughs> That's four mana. Sure. This is all very interesting. My god, my kingdom for a... Dude, anything. It doesn't matter. Just fucking cast the spell. My kingdom for the arc trail. Be able to shoot both these guys. Did they give up on reanimating? I doubt it. Man, I thought turn one Gaunti would have been good, but then they just have removal for it, so what are you going to do? Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking fantastic. Yeah, doing good. Doing good. Having a good time. Yep. Just an island. Fantastic. I mean, these are all cards I don't really want to draw, so it's fine. And they didn't have anything else to do. Fascinating. Forked, Fiery Confluence, and Persist. <laughs> it's really good. Yep. So if we don't hit Fiery Confluence, we're basically at five life. I mean, they could just persist, get back Rabble Master, and also Forked Bolt my Goblin Token. They go Forked Bolt, Goblin Token, face, we go to 10. Persist the Rabble Master, attack for 2, 3, 4, 5. I think we're just dead here. Yep. 
Unfortunately, Phantasmal Image does nothing for us here. We copy Ragavan, but that doesn't seem great. They're also just going to make another guy. Like, I can't imagine a sequence of draws that gets us out of this. Okay, so we know they have Confluence. Just going straight to combat. Fascinating. I'm definitely going to block. Wow. Custody Glitch, they, they just make a token, sacrifice that token. I mean, do we have a better option? Not really. Yep. Man, one more land. Ugh. So they have Confluence in hand, which is, like, terrible for us. Sure, we'll take one. Fire Confluence and one other card. Snapcaster Duress would be good. Then we also get Fatal Push. Do they still toot everything and one to our face? <laughs> that would be fascinating. Uh, I mean, we could Phantasmal Image the Lich State. I don't think they have a response. They just sack another guy, though. Well, I guess they sack two guys at that point. No, I don't like that. Monarch, double trigger. That's not terrible, to be honest. And then we have Fatal Push and Thief of Sanity on the board. I mean, now they're definitely going to have to Fiery Confluence here. Hey, babe. How's your tire? Did they let you keep the nail so you can show it to me? And then you can be like, this is your woodworking screw. They were like, it's probably all your husband's fault. And I was like, yeah, I know. I don't want to play this guy because then they just fiery confluence and kill it. Yeah, don't do that. I'm not. I'm going to try not to. How much longer you got? Uh, another round after this. Oh, yeah. my God. It's, it's going to be a while. Okay, bye. All right, babe. <laughs> You got it. Oh, for two, huh? Yep, that's what we assumed would happen. And now we just get to animate dead. Like, they can't make another guy. Wow, they can. They have treasures, right? They can use three to untap this. Oh, no, they do actually need three to untap. Oh, they're going to play something else. What else are they playing? Why do they have more cards? I don't know. Stop playing things. Oh, they're going to play Custody Lich and take five. Okay, that's pretty good. That was what we didn't want them to do. I guess we can Phantasmal Image. Do they have anything good in their graveyard? 
Does Hex Mage do anything that we care about? I don't know. Let's pop the yards out here. Okay, we have Phantasmal Image. We can animate a Phantasmal Image to copy Custody Lich. They sacrifice one of their two guys. Oh, we also have a Gaunty. Animate dead the image to get Lich. And then we just have a bunch of creatures we can play. Ragavan. Yeah, I don't care about anything else, really. Yeah, okay. So we're cracking this, going to six, which I don't love. I don't have to keep hitting okay afterwards. Did I hit a button? Like, stack abilities automatically. I don't know if turn off auto yields is what's doing it. I don't know. Let's draw another card. Let's draw a swamp. All right, eight to six, and I feel like we got a good board. Retrofitter Foundry's kind of pain in the ass, but we also have Creeping Tar Pit, which is super nice. Concealed Curties. So one, two, three, four, and we can still activate our Tar Pit. I think we just get in there with Thief and see what happens. Oh, wow, that's very good. <laughs> Let's take Coligon's command. Oh, boy, that's a... That's a card against them right now, boy. Thank you. Oh, see, Donkey, thank you for the resub, my dude. Peekaboo. Okay, two lands. Great. That should be game. I can't imagine a scenario where this isn't the end of the line. Sure. Yep, you got it. Uh, that's fine. Let you sack it. Cast. We're going to destroy an artifact and deal two damage. Destroy an artifact, deal two damage to this guy. And we know fiery confluence is in the, in the shitter, so that should be the, that should be it. Unless they toxic deluge for th four. But then we have Tar Pit, so, like, there's a lot of angles here. We know they have Blood Crypt and one other card. And, wow, that was, that was, that was a match. All right, round three. Let's see if our deck can actually pull it out. Definitely mulliganing this hand. One land is not going to do it with our two five drops in it. That's a little bit better. I'll keep this. I'm going to put Teferi back. Mm, no. Not going to take two here. 
So if we draw Dark Depths, we can go Petal Dark Depths Hex Mage. Oh, that's good too. I think that guy's probably going to die though, especially after a Lava Claw reaches. But no gamble, no future. That's what I always say. This guy's immediately... Oh, he did not die. What does this guy do? Put an artifact in the graveyard? Okay, that's pretty good. Return an artifact with mana value 3. Come on, animate dead one time. That ain't an animate dead, but... We'll see. Him to Torok. We can cast it with any mana, right? Oh, shit, that's nice. Oh, Fable is good, too, though. Well, Biscuits... Fable definitely helps our draw a little bit. Yeah, I think we're taking Fable here. Make a little gentleman. Sacrifice an artifact, turn artifact, man, maybe three or less. So they do have to have a reanimate spell here. I have to assume they probably do. Yep. So they take six. They're at 12. Okay. Give me discard up to two cards. Discard Fatal Push and Island here. Snapcaster, that gives us another fatal push. Hmm. Well, worm coil is kind of a pain in the ass. Goblin Welder and Inferno Titan. We can't play lands, right? You just get to cast that spell? Yeah, okay. Hmm. I mean, it's just Welder because we can cast it. I don't think it's Inferno Titan. That also puts Inferno Titan into his graveyard, which is not the best. I mean, they're at 10 life, but we also can't cast this for another three turns. And they're also gaining six from Worm Coil. So, like, them being at 10 life is not really the the fact that you that you think it is right now. Um, like I think we just have to actually give them a, a hit with the Worm Coil, which kind of sucks. I mean, I really don't want them sacrificing Worm Coil when they have when they get two creatures off of it. Hmm. I wish this guy was whenever when it was tapped. Then we can crew the Smuggler's Copter, and that would be cool. I have five power on board. We're close to killing Worm Coil Engine and losing every guy that blocks it in the process. I said it was neat. I didn't say it was good. Fair. Uh, we're just taking six here. Like, we can go to 14. I'm more concerned with them gaining the life, to be honest. I also have five cards in hand, which is a lot. A 
Why you have so many cards in hand? I mean, if they if they're able to get Inferno Titan back, that was definitely one of the arguments for taking Inferno Titan. Is that like if they reanimate it, it's pretty rough. Big choops. So long, Thief of Sanity. The only card I I care about. Him to Torok and no second black mana is pretty... I guess we can actually sack Smuggler's Copter. That's kind of funny. Metamorph? Oh, boy. I never met a morph I didn't like, you know? I think we can pitch a shark here. Yep, that seems fine. What are you gonna do about my metamorph, baby? One, two, three. Don't really want to get a treasure for this. Oh, we can also do some shenanigans of our own and keep flicking back the metamorph. That's kind of cool. If they try to kill this, we can sack it to get back Lotus Petal. That was pretty good. I'm a fan. Oh, also we have Kiki Jiki. Does this sacrifice it or exile it? Sacrifice it? Oh man, our board is for... They messed up my salad. <laughs> They didn't give me the thing I paid extra for. Yeah, Katie is Katie is fuming right now. She went to get she went to pick up us food. They didn't give her dressing for the salad. She got an extra egg on it, and they didn't give her an extra egg. There's something that feels really bad about ordering food to someone, and then your order gets messed up. Their order gets messed up, and yours is fine. Because then it's like, I don't really want to eat, and like, oh, you got shitty meal, and I have good meal. That's not fun. <sighs> I'm very tempted to do this now. Because then on our turn, we can do it again and then copy the worm coil. Babe, do we have we have ranch here. Like, it's not terrible. We have other dressings, right? Oh, I know it's not. I know it's not the same. I mean, if they have removal, what are they going to do? They got to have to remove their own guy, right? We have multiple artifacts. Oh. Griefethy, huh? So black, blue. Second worst ranch. I disagree completely. I think it's definitely one of the better grocery store ranches for sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get... Mm, actually, this is what... Uh, 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 this gets you a land to cast this. I think we're just getting rid of Battle Spear here. So they have nothing that's really threatening to us. For all your strength... So we need a mana for this guy, right? So what we can do is sacrifice the life linker to get back metamorph, copy this guy. Co yeah, we're doing that. Okay. Sacrifice this guy to get back metamorphals. Oh, we could also just get back battle sphere. Um, one, copy this guy. This should set us up for quite a, quite a while. Yeah, we just went, oh, that's fantastic. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Hidden Valley, that's so funny that you like, Hidden Valley is fucking terrible to me. Hidden Valley tastes so processed and, and ugh. I, I actually dislike Hidden Valley actively. Like it tastes, it's really, it's got a sour taste to it. It tastes extremely chemically laden. Oh, 
Uh, honestly, I don't know what we'd grab here. I, I feel like round one went pretty good. We stole like, it's funny because we were <laughs> kind of winning with their Goblin Welder and their Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Thanks for the goblins. Well, in a perfect world, this will be the last game and I can go eat some food before my my little my little class tonight, so. Yeah, literally the the best ranch I've made at home or the best ranch I've had at home is like the the ranch you make from the Hidden Valley flavor mix, like the the seasoning. And you just had like mayo or sour cream or whatever to it. This hand seems pretty good. The second turn custody lich. If we draw dark depths, it's just fantastic. I also haven't heard of wild coyote. And the truth is like all, all store-bought ranches are just kind of meh because they have to put so many preservatives in them that it's just like you don't get the same flavor profile as, as if you like went to a restaurant where like they just make the ranch every day. Oh, it's in the refrigerator section. That's fascinating. Oh, look, a mox jet. I'm interested. It's interesting that the mox, the moxes are in this modern frame, but Lotus is in this retro frame. That's fascinating to me. Oh, I do like a duress here. That's pretty nice. Let's see what you got. Show me what you've got. Oliphant. Timothy Oliphant. Um, okay, I'm going to let them do this because it's going to give them a million mana. But then we're going to Custody Lich and kill it. How's that sound? So we're going to get rid of Fable. They're going to untap and hopefully life death. And then we just go Custody Lich to kill their Oliphant. Can that be a thing we do? They have life and death. They have a Savai Triumph. That's gone. Mountain is gone. So we know these three cards and whatever they drew. Yep, that's exactly what we wanted them to do. And then we get the Monarchy as well. And they, they're not looking like they're in a great position to... Uh, to deal with this guy. I mean, they get to infernal, they get to infernal grasp it, right? They take two, but then they also have to, we, we just get to keep the monarchy. So that's pretty fun. Dude, I don't know what's going on with Dranith Magistrate, but I pick these guys up like, when did I get these guys? I guess they were eight when I picked them up in like 2021. Now they're like $20. Yeah, Katie was really fired up. Oh, are we just going to get the hit? No, there's no way, right? Yeah, they're going to infernal grasp that guy. So when do they have Battle Sphere and one other card? I think we're just playing... No, let's play Copter here, and then next turn we can, we can Vampire Hex Mage. All right. <laughs> yeah, me and Katie are definitely sauce people. Oh, we just hit two lands. Fantastic. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, so in our last card is Mirror Battle Sphere. Snapcaster. Into nothing, unfortunately. Well, we are one black shy of doing it all, but that's fine. We just want to smuggle here. Why did we play the land first? Nobody knows. Yep. Gaunty. I want to discard him to Torok. I don't think we're going to need it. They have one card, and if it's if it's a land, then we're just going to make them discard Battlesphere. With um, Snapcaster Mage. All right. That's good for us. We I just We probably shouldn't have played the land, but that's fine. Oh, we just won the game. All right. 3-0. 
Didn't see the 3-0 coming, but it's not too bad. I'll take it. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you. Made a couple misplays, but that's magic, man. Magic's a hard game. There's lots of things going on. Please feel free to subscribe or follow if you want to support the channel. Slam those like and subscribe buttons down there. I'll see you next time.